Hi, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's tutorial is on the seven perils of bird photography. Yeah, bird photography is dangerous. I'll bet you didn't even think about that. But hey, things happen out there in the field and some of these are just plain annoying and other ones I guess could be kind of dangerous, but not really. Anyway, most of these are humorous, so let's give it a go. Hey, I wanna do a big shout out to Steve Coffin who gave me the idea for this. Hey, so peril number one is sleep deprivation. We have to get up really early in the morning to get to the spot before sunrise and we have to shoot all morning and then we maybe we take a nap in the daytime but not really we post process in the middle of the day and then we stay out really late and catch that last golden hours of the day so we don't get enough sleep in the spring and the summertime so sleep deprivation is a real peril of bird photography the next one is stuff comes out of both ends of a bird i took one for the team in bosca del apache and you can see that on my hat in this photo you gotta be careful about birds uh taking a dump on you. And then the other thing is if you're feeding seagulls and you're tossing bread up in the air for the seagulls and you're getting flight shots, they drool. So make sure you're wearing a hat and a raincoat because uh, otherwise you're gonna get wet. Okay, like a lot of these perils of bird photography, these next several just raise your blood pressure and kind of get you aggravated. But there's these guys out there who say, I gotcha, right? The I gotcha guys. You know, you pull up and there's a bunch of photographers and you just look around and see what they're looking on. The, the guy goes, oh yeah, you should have been here five minutes ago or you should have been here yesterday. It's like, come on guys, you don't need to do that. Be helpful. Don't be, uh, don't be, I gotcha. Okay, so don't you just hate it when you go to some place like Bosque del Apache and you're on a line of photographers and you just happen to get set up right next to this guy that all he wants to do is talk. He's there to socialize. He's not there to get pictures. So he's talking so much that you don't get any pictures, he doesn't get any pictures. The best thing to do is just to move. Pick up your tripod or just walk away. Don't get socialized to death out there. All right, this one is just downright dangerous. There are overly cheery people out there before you've had coffee in the morning. You get up at 4 a.m., you drive to the location, you're waiting for the sun to come up, you haven't had any coffee, and there's these people next to you that are just so cheery. Oh my gosh. This is an unsponsored video, by the way. Hey, so you overly cheery people in the morning? Give us a break. Tamp it down a little bit, okay? We'd appreciate it. Thanks. Carpal thumb was that you're using your thumb to focus on the back button, focus button, so much that your thumb starts to hurt. Or you're chimping so much at the end of every little high action sequence that your thumb starts to hurt. So you can get carpal thumb out there. You can also get CD, which is chimping disorder. You know, when you're chimping so much that you miss the action of the shot or you got to go show your friend this picture because they just got to see it and it's like no you should be shooting don't suffer from cd chimping disorder is real and carpal thumbel is real so be careful out there and then there's those people that sneak up behind you and go wow that's a big camera well technically the camera is pretty small but it is a big lens but they scare all the birds away What's with them? And then they pull out their iPhone and go, hey, I got this picture of a bird. And you got this little brown dot in the middle of the big iPhone screen and you just kind of go, oh my gosh, that's not really a good bird picture, but what do you say to people like that? Okay, so the next one is you're out someplace shooting and a guy comes up with a 1DX Mark II, a 5D or an A9, one of those really expensive cameras and says, hey, you can't get a good picture with that crop sensor camera you've got. You need a $6,000 body. That $2,000 camera is not going to cut it. Well, that's just BS, right? Go stroke your ego someplace else. If you have a really nice camera, don't tell other people it's the only way to get a good picture. It's just not true. Hey, if you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a big like, subscribe, share this with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. And remember, if you wanna learn more about bird photography, you can get a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography on Amazon. It's a Kindle and it's a trade paperback. You can get a signed copy of my book on my website at timboyerphotography.com. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this week and I will see you later. Bye.